Hi, this is Graham Jacock. Now, the Telegraph has an article and uh, Alexander Armstrong is the guy who's got the centre stage. And in it, oh, this is a quote from him, uh, no one wants to see anything upsetting, particularly now when you might have half the world calling for your imminent death if you say something that offends them. And then uh, an extra quote from him. Our institutions are spineless. They'll never put up a fight. Now, is, is Armstrong right in saying uh, to call it a fight? Because perhaps a, a better word is giving a person an option uh, in uh, in life to be to say you're putting up a fight suggests an aggressive tactic but in life you're actually offering people an option to do something different you see that that is not putting fear into someone someone that is giving someone hope you see the people who want to cancel everyone right if you say something out of turn people will reject you. A bit like a uh, J.K. Rowling and the transgender issue or whatever's going on about that. But here is where the intelligentsia who are complaining, and especially the atheists of the intelligentsia, you never look at history. Here we have a man specifically emphasising it a thousand times bigger than it is in this modern generation and the guy's name is Jesus right Jesus Christ now can you honestly uh, reject what he he was showing the world how to handle things. I mean, you, Alexander goes on about how people are spineless. Well, if he's calling institutions spineless, then he has to say in the same breath, the public are spineless. Now, Jesus wasn't spineless. He stood up when the Romans existed. Now, if we're going by standards were the Romans not violent now I mean uh, what's his name Alexander says uh, half the world calling for your imminent death now did Jesus have the same price upon his head people called for his death now how did Jesus psychologically go through this I mean, how did the Christians get started? Because the world were against the apostles. The whole world were against the apostles. And if the intelligentsia, especially in atheism, cannot fathom the similarities, then you are the dumbest people on the planet. And it's a good thing power is taken and removed from you. Because Jesus offered a person or a group a hope to change their way of thinking, to change their perspective. And that means changing their heart. Now, all these people, who uh, the woke people, the... the, the who wants to cancel everything uh, what people are saying. Well, maybe half the intentions of these people are coming from a good place. Although the way they are, uh, they, they are uh, well, uh, uh, they're trying to emphasise it is wrong. How they're going about it is all wrong. You see, Alcoholics Anonymous, right? Uh, 
they try to rehabilitate addicts, okay? Now, there's good behind that. They're trying to change a person's heart. But they're focusing on the drink. But drink is not the reason why a, a, per, a drink is a symptom of something deeper. And unless AA acknowledges what is at the heart of a human being, then you're, this, this is why alcoholics struggle from day to day and they say, take it at a day at a time. But you never, eh, there's, a, there's a fear in that. There's not a, a true hope behind that. You either fail or you succeed. Now, the other kind, the hope we have in Jesus is something in history that has established itself. That is a hope. Now, you can either lose hope in faith, but that is not the same as saying a, you lose hope in what Jesus achieved. There's two issues going on. What Jesus achieved, right? You can't remove that. It's like uh, playing a game of tennis at the US Open, right? And like, like Emma Raducanu, she won a set and it went on the screen. Six, zero. Now, you can't remove that. That is in history of tennis, regardless of the outcome afterwards, okay? Now, it's the same with a... Christianity, right, and uh, the, the, the parallel I was doing with uh, Alcoholics Anonymous, in history you have this man Jesus, right, and Jesus resurrected, right, from the dead, okay, now, that is on, like, the tennis, uh, the billboard in a match, you can't remove it, that is the hope, and that is the same hope Emma Raducanu had when she looked at the school and said, I've got my first set. I will have faith. Now, the problem with the, the Alcoholics Anonymous, you, you're having faith in yourself or you're having faith in the person who is in your group but you have no universal answer to give you a pure hope. You will either fail or you will succeed. And this is why the motto of alcoholics, if I remember correctly, eh, take it a day at a time. That is fear. You fear falling off the wagon. Now, when the, when half the world, or I don't, not, let's not go into percentages, when a group of people are trying to cancel people for their behaviour, right? Now, how they're going about it is all wrong, but the the idea behind it is what I'm uh, trying to suggest. The idea that people want to change someone. Now, that is not strictly bad. But how they go about it is all wrong. But why are people not looking and f get, getting strength from Jesus Christ? Because he went through it first on a universal stage. I'm not saying other people in history did not go through similar acts of what Jesus did, okay? But I'm saying, I mean, in a public acknowledgement, Jesus is publicly uh, recognised from history. So, you can put up a well-meaning counter 
attack. I don't want to use the word attack. That's that's threatening. Uh, you're giving people the, the the people who want to cancel everything. You use Jesus Christ and put that image in their head and weaken their defences. Just like the seasons in a year, you have a strong leaf in summer and the cell membranes are strong, but come October and the leaves weaken their natural defences and they all fall off the tree and then they just wilt away and rot. Now, that is a great metaphor for a people and their ideas in life. They are like a leaf. They think they're a leaf. Uh, their ideas are, are like a leaf in summer, right? But you're using Jesus Christ, okay? And you're using Jesus Christ, okay? And using Jesus Christ will turn that idea but have the leaf in October where the October's defences get broken down. That is the power of Jesus to change how people oppress people in the world. Anyway, I gotta go.